Hey everyone, so here I am doing exercise 6.1 in teacher chapter of class 6 and this is the third question from this exercise. The question here is represent the following numbers on the number line. So we have to represent the given integers on the number line. Now when you are representing integers on number line, it's quite different from the representing natural numbers on number line. Integers are both negative and positive and in between we have a zero number. Now the first number here is plus 5. So I'm going to represent everything on a one single number line. You can do it separately. Here I'm going to show you everything on one single number line. So at the center we have 0. On the right hand side, suppose let me take this as my center 0. You can take 0 anywhere. I'm just assuming suppose this is 0 here. Okay. This is my number 0. You can start anywhere 0. So I'm just assuming suppose this is my 0. When you go towards the right hand side of the 0, the numbers are positive numbers. When you're going towards the left hand side of the number line, that is left hand side of the 0, it will be negative integers or the negative numbers. So on the right hand side we have a positive, on the left hand side we have a negative. So if 0 is here, you can plot 0 anywhere. Here I'm going to show 0 over here. The right next number after 0 is 1. So you can start writing the natural numbers after 0. So 0 and then we have 1. This is 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, and then 10. I'm going to stop here. You can continue if you want. But since the number here given maximum is plus 6, so I'm going to stop here. On the left hand side, we have a number, negative number. Remember, don't start minus 1 here. No, it's not uh, correct. You have to start immediately from the left hand side of the 0. So minus 1 will be here. So you have to write down the same number 1, 2, 3 with the negative side but start from the left hand side of the 0 when you are writing the negative numbers. So minus 1 and then here we have a minus 2 and then minus 3 then minus 4 then minus 5 and then minus 6 and then so on. So this is how you can show the number line. So if the question asks, you can do it everything on a one single line like I, how I have showed you or you can just do it separately. So here in this case, I'm going to show you on a one single number line. So let me take here 0 over here because we have a minus 10 which is a, um, a, a huge number. So I'm going to take 0 over here somewhere and then let's start. So this is um, 1 and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8 and then 9 and the numbers keep on going. And then here on the left hand side I have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 and the last one here is minus 10. You can continue the number line or you can just stop over here. Now the first number given here is plus 5. So plus 5 is a positive number, it's a positive integer. So it's going to come on the right hand side of the number line which is over here. So the first answer will be this. So I'm going to write down capital A. So this is the first number we got it. Then the next one here is minus 10. Minus is a negative, right? It's a negative integer. So it's going to come towards the left hand side of the number line. So here is a minus 10. So I'm going to write down here B. So this is a second one. Then next is plus 8. So plus 8 is a positive number. It's going to come on the right hand side of the number line, which is here. So this is C. Next is minus 1. Minus 1 is a negative. So it's going to come just left hand side of the 0 which is here so this is d and here we have minus 1 and the last one is minus 6 which is again a negative integer it's a negative number it's gonna come on the left hand side of the number line so which is here so here we get e now remember when you're writing a negative integers on the number line start minus 1 just on the left hand side of the 0 don't start minus 1 from here like how we do on the right hand side what happens is you cannot it's actually a not a correct way of writing it because all the number 
we know that the integers are like there are infinitely many integers right so the number keep on going towards the left hand side the number line similarly the natural numbers on the right hand side and the positive integers keep on going on the right hand side okay so just make sure that you just plot the number line correctly so this is a simple one i hope this is clear in case you have any questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching